darlings. Welcome to a new travel vlog. I'm starting in a very beautiful, very tropical location for this vlog. We are in Cambodia, pinch me. Um, and we're here on a press trip with the Avani Hotel Group. So I'm gonna be taking you along on our incredible itinerary for the next four days. We've got two days or three days really here in Cambodia. We've got some amazing things planned and then we are going to Laos or Laos my pronunciation across this video I'm just gonna apologize now for any mistakes I'm going to Laos in a couple of days time um, but we had a 15 hour flight two flights um, to get here this morning so I think I'm gonna be hitting a wall pretty soon but we've just arrived just checked in I've had a very quick shower so I'm gonna show you around where we are spending the next couple of days and then I think it's time to head to the pool for a dip and a nice afternoon nap. But anyway, let me show you around and also show you what I am wearing. brunch and as you can see behind me I have pretty much got the pool area to myself so I'm just gonna set up under an umbrella have a read of my magazines and have a nice little chill might go for a quick dip but yeah we've got a couple of hours just to relax and get into the time zone sounds good to me So it's a little bit later now. Um, we had a really nice afternoon just chilling by the pool. I hope you can hear me over the music in the background. Um, as you might have just seen, the heavens literally just opened. Like one minute it was blue skies and the next minute torrential downpour. Um, so I went inside quickly and I put some deep conditioner in my hair. I'm using the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer and it's so good after a long haul flight, just really helps to nourish my hair. So I'm having a bit of a pamper. I've also just ordered a coffee. I feel like the sign of a good hotel is one that has lots of different milks. So I was able to get my oat milk cappuccino, which I'm very happy about. And I thought I would just come upstairs. This is like a nice little lounge area. I've got a little patio out there, which they're trying to tidy up really quickly. Um, and there's a really nice bar area in there. But I thought it's four o'clock. Um, the UK has been awake for a couple of hours. So I thought I would try and be a bit productive. I've done some emails and um, I'm about to start doing some photo editing. But I thought I would also take this opportunity to tell you about this amazing kind of platform that I've been using lately. So as you may know, I am the biggest fan of multitasking and I'm always trying to like improve my productivity and learn new things, whether that's improve my photography or improve my business in some way. So I have been using a platform called Skillshare and it's basically an online learning community. There's over 25,000 different classes for creators. I believe there's over 7 million people using Skillshare and there are so many different classes to choose from. I personally have been watching videos and obviously you can pick them up as you want to. You can watch the whole thing or you can press pause and like have a play and come back to it another time. I've been watching videos on photography, but what's so good about Skillshare, there's so many different classes. You can really find um, a course particular to your personal desires and what you want to improve upon. So for example, if I go into my classes, so these are some of the classes that I've favorited. I'll read you some of the examples. So we've got portrait photography, tips on how to shoot with natural light, and I can see that it's 40 minutes long, um, and it's got 14,000 people on that course. I've got a street style photography course. I've got a course specifically for mobile photography for Instagram success, because so many people say that um, Instagram prefers mobile phone photos. So I'm actually trying to improve how I shoot and 
edit my pictures on my phone. So that course has been particularly useful and I can tell other people like it as well because 32,000 people are also doing that course at the moment. So it's a really nice community. Um, and when I'm having a little bit of chill time, like right now, I just want to edit some photos, I want to have something going on in the background, I can just pick up tips from these courses and it's so useful. The next thing that's on my to-do list is to look at their marketing courses. Some of these are going to be really useful for me, like product marketing, um, there's staples of branding from purpose to product, even SEO tips, which for me and blogging is super, super useful. So yeah, I'm just finding it a great way of learning something new instead of just putting a YouTube video on in the background because I have a premium membership. I have unlimited access to all of these different courses. So if you are feeling curious or creative or you want to learn a new skill, build on your career, you can even learn a new language or just teach yourself something new, then I highly recommend it. I found it really just engaging and the whole community aspect around it is really lovely as well. You can have a little chat with other people doing it, you can share tips. And Skillshare have very kindly given me, um, or you guys rather, an unlimited two month access. So the same as what I'm using, you're gonna get that for two months. Unlimited access trial to you guys that click the link in my subscription box. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this part of the video and I'll leave the link to that trial in the description box down below. After that, it's around $10 a month, which is really not that much when you consider you're getting pretty much the equivalent of one-on-one -on -one tutorship and you can just choose from so many different courses. There are loads and loads of different topics. I've just mentioned a couple of my favorites, but I'll leave a link to my favorite ones down below as well. Um, and if you do decide to try it out, then let me know in the comment section down below which ones you really enjoy because I'm always looking for new ones. Um, I'll probably watch a few next week when we are on the beach as well and yeah, I just love I just love learning something new. So I've been putting to the test some of the tips that I learned in my mobile photography for Instagram one and we took some pictures earlier which I'm currently editing. Um, I was trying to do something really bougie with this giant hat that I have and the um, Skillshare course was talking about how it's all about the angles and getting the lighting right and where you tap on your phone and things like that. So I think we nailed it with this picture. So I'm just adding one of my own presets on there. That's how I edit my Instagram pictures. And I'm gonna post it to the gram. So that's my next half an hour sorted. I'm gonna carry on watching the mobile um, photography skills course. And then I think I might move on to the introduction to social media strategy. I think it might be quite beginner. Um, it's actually from Brian Peters, who works at Buffer, which is the platform that I use to schedule my tweets. So it's like really serious industry people giving these tutorials. Sometimes and sometimes it's just a normal person that happens to be really knowledgeable in a certain area. But um, I like listening to the pros. So yeah, I'm gonna listen to Brian Peters giving his social media strategy tips while I do some editing and enjoy my coffee. So yeah, that's my afternoon sorted. I'll see you later. So it's a couple of hours later now. We have just got ready for dinner. Apologies if any of these clips suddenly become quite blurry, but it is so hot and humid that the camera lenses keep steaming up. Um, but I had a quick shower, washed out the Philip Kingsley elasticizer that I had in. Hair is nice and soft. I could not be bothered to blow dry it though, so I've just popped it up in a little bun. Accessorized with my headband. I've got my edge of amber necklace on. Little Zimmerman dress. I will ask Charlie to show you a proper outfit of the evening and then we're heading for cocktails. darlings so we had a very good night's sleep last night we literally slept from 10 30 at night right through to half nine in the morning so had a really good catch up on all the z's that we lost during the flying um had a lovely breakfast at the hotel i filmed a very long hyperlapse while we were eating and now we have come to a local jewelry workshop 
So this place is really unusual. The brand is called Ammo Jewelry and they make their designs with old bullets. Obviously Cambodia's history is, um, well it was a war zone just a few decades ago and this is a way of I guess making something beautiful out of the history of the country. So we are going to be making our own designs, stamping it onto the jewellery and uh, hopefully it's going to be a really nice accessory. So let's go inside and learn how to do some jewellery making. finished product. I put flowers on it, um, kind of ban the bomb, hippie power. So I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. We've now come to a place called Haven, uh, which is where we're going to be having our lunch. It's just off one of the main streets. So let's head inside and have a little look. who told us the story about why he set this place up and um, basically how it works. So he said that here in Cambodia, 80% of the population lives in poverty and they don't have access to education. So a lot of the time, children will grow up, live at home, they don't get jobs, they don't get any experience, they don't get any life experience, they don't get any education. And then as adults, they just kind of go into the outside world, but they, they don't know how, they don't have the skills needed to get normal jobs. So what is really shocking is that so many people here in Cambodia are sold into slavery. It sounds like something from a hundred years ago, it doesn't sound like something that's happening in 2019, but the guy was telling us how because these people can't get normal jobs, they get sold into slavery and often end up being sold to these fishing companies and they'll be out at sea. One guy was out at sea for nine years. They have barely fed any food, they become ill on the boats. If it comes to a point where they're too ill to work or they refuse to work, they literally just throw them off the boat it's horrific um, or they give them tablets which enables them to work 15 hour days and they're exhausted and obviously they're not getting paid this is literally slavery um, and when they can't work anymore they just get thrown out to sea so it's a pretty dire situation um, but what the owners here wanted to do they used to work in an orphanage and they could see this happening but here at Haven it's not only an amazing restaurant where everything is sustainable there's no plastic metal straws they get all their products produce locally, they go to the, mar the markets with tote bags, not plastic bags, you know, they're very conscious, but also everyone in the kitchen that we've just met, um, aside from one head chef, is a trainee from a local family that otherwise wouldn't be able to afford to put their children into education. Even out the back, they've got a school where they're teaching practical skills, and they train people up here with useful, real-life skills, so that then after a year training here, they can go and get jobs in hotels, they can start their own companies, so it really is is incredible and everything is funded from their outside education to their health to their accommodation it's so generous and that's all from the proceeds of the restaurant so it's an amazing place to come definitely want to visit when you're here in Cambodia and incredible food as well but the staff is so lovely and to think that they're being given that opportunity here is incredible so highly recommend Haven um, and it's just a really important message Alrighty, it's a little bit later on. We are back at the hotel now. Um, we've just had a very quick little photo shoot out by the pool, seeing as the lighting is nice. We are now heading out for a Thai massage. Um, <laughs> Charlie's about, to, Charlie's about yeah. to do the gong. That's epic. Anything that makes a noise, this one loves. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're about to go and find somewhere nearby where we can go and get a nice Thai or Cambodian massage. And of course, we are traveling by Tuk Tuk. <laughs> so apparently some of the tuk-tuks at the hotel have, have got like karaoke machines in them. I think we've got the uh, we've got the non pimp version. There's the plasma screen. <laughs> pimp my ride. Pimp my tuk-tuk. That's a new idea. Plasma there, plasma
Good morning, darlings. It is currently around 5.45 in the morning and we have come to one of the ancient wonders of the world. Pinch me. We're here at Angkor Wat, which is the largest temple in the world. It's absolutely spectacular and the sun hasn't even properly risen yet. Um, we came for a sunrise tour. Surprisingly, there's quite a lot of people here, but I've just nipped out away from the group with Dominica and Bonnie, and we are trying to get a spectacular Instagram shot. <laughs> so I'll show you a little bit of behind the scenes. I've done a little bit of Instagram research. I don't know why my eyes are so sensitive to the light already since I had laser eye surgery. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to get a really nice shot. We did a bit of Instagram research to find the best spots and we found one of the like mini temples around the outside. And um, yeah, it's just spectacular. Pinch me. heading back um, to the hotel via the like Indiana Jones Tomb Raider place which looks really cool but that's the sunrise morning tour you just kind of come you find your spot it's very peaceful you watch the sunrise which was beautiful um, and then you can wander around we had a look through some of the kind of outside areas of the temple you can't actually go in the main part of Angkor Wat um, but around the outside you can see the ancient scriptures on the walls which was incredible and our guide could read some of the ancient script which was Amazing to hear about the um, the kind of mythology and the stories that are being told on the walls there. We saw some of the um, statues which had actually been beheaded and the heads have been stolen. I think that was about a couple of centuries ago. Um, but yes, we've had a lovely wander around and we're heading back over the lake. You have to walk over this kind of plastic inflatable jetty. It seems a little bit dodgy. <laughs> That's how you get in and out of here. It's very high security and heading back for some breakfast. But hopefully first we're going to go and quickly stop off at the Tomb Raider temple. Oh, I see. Anyone need to go so the way to get to and from Angkor Wat is over this very um, wobbly, let's say, bridge. It's like those plastic squares that float on the water. So if you're coming here, do not forget your anti-mosquito spray because you're literally walking over a stagnant lake. Couldn't actually see what we were doing when we arrived because it was pitch black. But now we can see. And it is hot. It's, it's half seven in the morning and it is already 33 degrees. <laughs> We've arrived at our next stop, which is the Ta Prom Temple. And I think most people would probably recognize it from Tomb Raider, Lara Croft. Uh, so we're heading in. I'm wearing the same as what I was wearing before because you have to have your shoulders and your knees covered. So um, let's go inside. <laughs> temple as it's known or Path Nom. As you can see there is a tree growing straight out the middle which is actually sadly slowly destroying the temple but we're gonna have a little look around see what's left of this ancient wonder.
it is finally a normal time of day. We've just had a lovely late breakfast. As you can see, I am poolside posing. I've put in some more of my um, elasticizer. I'm actually doing a campaign for these guys on my Instagram. So Charlie just shot that for me down by the pool. So I've got the conditioner in my hair and I'm just taking some pictures with Em. She's doing a quick swimsuit change. We're trying to get some nice Instagramable pool pictures. Once again, I have the pool area to myself. I feel like this hotel is a bit of a hidden gem, but it's so beautiful. So we're just enjoying the last few hours here because tonight we are flying to Laos or Laos. And um, yeah, we've just got a couple of hours to relax and get some snaps. So I'll show you a little bit of behind the scenes. Okay, darlings, it's a few hours later. We just had a nice lunch here at the hotel. And now we are moving country. We're flying to Laos. It's an hour and a half flight away. Our flight is in just over an hour. So we're getting a minibus now to the airport. We just had to leave this beautiful hotel, but we're staying with the same hotel group over in Laos. So it'll be really interesting to see what the hotel like is like there. We've got high expectations based on how wonderful this one was. Um, and by the way, I'll be doing a blog post on where we stayed and what we did. So if you want any like itinerary information, then I'll leave that blog post link down below. But for now, it's time to fly. And a short flight later and we are now in Laos. We've just checked into the Avani Luang Prabang, I hope I've got that right, which is just 10 minutes from the airport. The hotel that we've seen so far looks rather stunning. It is a French neoclassical design. I believe it used to be a military barracks? Yeah, it used to be a military barracks. But you wouldn't be able to tell. There is nothing military about this place anymore. It is square, absolutely stunning. Like it's yeah. more military in terms of its layout, but not the decor. Yes, it is beautiful. We are, I don't think this is even one of their like mega suites, but this room is gorgeous, absolutely huge. It's part of the Avani Plus collection, apparently. Um, Charlie's very excited because there is a Nespresso coffee machine, so we're gonna get our morning caffeine fix. But let me give you a little bit of a, a room tour, very quick room tour. So we've got this little area here where you come in. Sink area, this is either gonna be the toilet or the shower. Ooh, his and hers sinks, always love that. Around here we've got a big wardrobe area, all our stuff. The bed, in that little cupboard is the kitchen area. And then out here is where it gets rather beautiful. I'll show you properly in the morning, but this is the courtyard. You can kind of see how it used to be a military barracks by the shape of this place. But it looks absolutely stunning. Can't wait to explore in the daylight tomorrow. I won't make it easy for you now. You got too many of my time. 